in ways that are hard for us to fully grasp now, tents were enormously important to both the Hindu and Muslim rulers of India. They had a significance far beyond the practical and were as much the seats and expressions of power as physical palaces. In India, their use dates back at least to the Sultanate period in the 13th century, and they were further developed by the Mughal rulers, for whom the tent was a long-standing part of their Central Asian heritage. We can see this tradition depicted in this late 16th century imperial Mughal painting, where the 14th century ruler Timur is shown in his royal tent. Timur's direct descendant was to be Babur, founder of the Mughal Empire. Here, tents appear in a scene from Hindu epic the Ramayana, where, despite the epic source material, we can see a detailed and technical portrayal of a tent complex. The Mughal emperors spent a huge amount of time travelling, largely to make their presence felt in different parts of the empire. Whole tent complexes were duplicated so that one set could be sent ahead in readiness for the emperor's arrival, where a huge retinue would accompany him. It could include musicians, canopy carriers, guards, huge numbers of household servants and craftsmen, noblemen and women, elephants, camels, horses, and sometimes even leopards and cheetahs. With conquerors on the move, there was often no distinction between royal and military camps, except in their defences. These royal camps were made up of vast suites of tentage, with successive rings of privacy or rank towards the centre. Since the power of the emperor was seen as divinely granted, the richness and splendour of his tent palace was understood as divine worship, a way of attaining an image of perfection. New tent fashions evolved every year and grew more elaborate, accomplished in embroidered velvet, chintz, cloth of gold and silver, and encrusted with precious stones. Tragically, few tents now survive due to their perishable material, but we have here a rare surviving 17th century Kalamkari tent panel, which would have lined the interior of a royal tent. Our textile belongs to a small and important group of tent furnishings from the Amber Palace storerooms. Due to their extremely fine quality, they are thought to have been commissioned for the Muslim rulers of the Deccan. This group of textiles was dispersed in the first half of the 20th century and are now spread between museums in India, Britain and the United States. <laughs>